one. Coming up next, corporate bonds for retail investors and the man who created the investment vehicles to make it happen. All right, that is Tom Ricketts from In Capital. He joins us live on set in a CNBC exclusive interview. We'll talk corporate bonds and maybe, just maybe, he'll give us a little inside scoop on the Chicago Cubbies. They're playing 500 ball and they may be for sale. It's next only here on The Call. All right, he's the president and CEO of In Capital. That's the largest underwriter of retail corporate bonds. He pioneered the category 10 years ago. Just as important, if not more so, he also is known for leading his family's successful bid for the Chicago Cubs. In another CNBC exclusive, Tom Ricketts joins us live on set. Welcome, Tom. Thank you ever so much. Cubbies are playing, what are they, a game over 500. You are involved in negotiations for the purchase of the team. First of all, I ask two quick questions before we get to bonds. Number one, how are those negotiations going? Uh, negotiations are progressing. That's about all I can really all talk right. about right now. And number two, there are some questions being asked about possible financing. Is it difficult to get financing for the Cubs? There's a number being thrown around. It's a $900 million potential acquisition. Can you fund it? I don't think there's any question that the financing markets are more complicated than they've been in a long, long time. But, uh, but all that stuff is going pretty well at this point. So I think we're getting pretty close. Do you expect uh, any sense of timing on this? Uh, no, I won't guess on timing right now. All right. Do you think the Cubbies will get into the World Series this year? <laughs> That's a terrible question. Absolutely, right. absolutely. Let me go to bonds. You're a bullish on corporate bonds. Is that what I gather? That's really my first question. You like bonds. You think people ought to be investing there. And are they better than stocks in your judgment? Well, I think right now what's happening in the market is that the short-term rates that people are receiving are so low, people are looking at the yield curve and they're looking at the credit spectrum. And the relative value in corporate bonds is very, very high right now by historical standards. And you're getting you know, twice the yield of a comparable treasury. So as people are putting together their bond ladders and they're looking to improve, improve income in their portfolios, Corporates are a pretty natural pick right well, now. Well, uh, hey, Tom, it's Trish Regan here down at the New York Stock Exchange. I want to talk to you a little bit about that spread between corporate bonds and treasuries. Uh, a lot of people are saying, you know, as the credit markets start to improve, as this economy starts to get healthier, that corporate bonds are not looking as attractive as they were, say, six months ago. But you're saying there's still room to get in here? Well, I think that if you look at the yields of corporates relative to treasuries, they, they they were very, very wide six months ago, and I think that was a function of the uncertainty in the markets. But that said, on a historical basis, they're still very attractive. I think we've gone through a lot of what might be the worst of uh, our economic times, and so this might be a good time to go back to, the, what, uh, to look at the corporates. What kinds of corporates are you looking at? I mean, what, what would your average investor that's planning you know, for retirement 20 years down the road want to be looking at versus, say, someone who's trying to make uh, some money over the next year? Right. I think there's two things in there. Number one, I think you want to stay with uh, the obviously investment grade and even the, the higher uh, the higher investment grades, you know, double A, single A. I mean, you've got uh, GE Capital's a, a program that we underwrite for. That you would buy GE Capital, huh? Absolutely. You're not worried about that whole story. It's not been a good story. It's our parent company. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it. it's been a <laughs> terrible story. Why buy GE Capital? That's, is that a junk bond or an investment grade bond? As That's it trades in the market. As it trades in the market. No, it trades like an investment grade bond. Does uh, it? Obviously, mm. it is. Absolutely. All right. But the, uh, I think that, you know, you look at, you don't have to go far out in the, in the credit spectrum to get those incremental yields that are attractive. So I don't think, I, I would never recommend individual investors go into individual junk bonds. But I think if you put together a portfolio of some of the more stable credits and the, uh, the higher rate well, they've of they've had a heck of a run. I mean, the spreads have just about narrowed by 50%. Let me ask you this. Yeah. You seem to prefer, your advice for investment grade bonds is for individual retail folks to buy the bonds directly, not the bond funds. Now, I want to ask you about that because, I mean, does that play into your own commission structure? Doesn't that make it more expensive? Or is there a flaw in the bond fund process that you want to tell people about? Well, I think if you have enough uh, assets to put to work, you're better off building your own ladder than putting your money in a bond fund, typically. Mm -hmm. I think there's a couple issues with bond funds. Number one is, last year, something like 80% of bond funds underperformed the index. So a lot of that's driven by the second problem with bond funds, which is fees. And so you're paying fees to, for someone to trade bonds on your behalf. What about the uh, index funds, the ETFs? Aren't I think they those, cheap? They're they just may be, cheap as dirt, aren't they? 
they may be better value, but if you're looking at just getting a reliable income stream and knowing when you're going to get money back, you should be looking at building yourself a ladder and being just thoughtful and diversifying yourself. If you're bullish on bonds, corporate bonds, which means credits and profits, and you're bullish on buying the Chicago Cubs, you must be bullish on the economy. I think the economy's seen the worst. I'm not, I'm not going to make any guesses on what happens next, and I don't want to get any big arguments on this show. So. Okay. Tom Rickus, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks so much for joining it. us. Thank